Okay, here's the bolts that come out of it. I doubt you need for me to show you how to unbolt this from the motor. On your shift linkage, you have to take this loose. And there's a little pin that goes right here. It's got two pins. Leave one of them connected and undo the other one. And I just knocked that pin out with a, a nail. I've done a broke these are loose by hand. Don't lose this key right here. Now I cheap that on this one. I just bought just a impeller. But it's really best if you just go ahead and buy the whole piece. Now I've got to clean this this old gasket off of here. I'm gonna put a thin layer of blue glue on here and let it sit for about 10 minutes on, on this and this to kind of make up for the thickness of the gasket. I didn't take the bottom of the housing off so the, the gasket should still be good. All right, after you find out where you laid the new propeller down at, Put your little bit of grease in this slot right here to help hold your key while you are doing your work. All right, on the bottom of this, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of uh, grease on this right now. Now I'm going Wipe a little bit of grease in this right here. You don't want it to crank up dry. All right, this is dry to the touch. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna put a second layer on there. The main thing about this right here is your motor turns clockwise. So that's how the pump's gotta go in. Look how simple that is. Don't be scared to work on this stuff yourself. You save a lot of money. I put also put me a little bit of oil on the threads. Go ahead and put all four of them in. Get them started. I'm gonna finish these off with a socket. See me tightening this? All you want to do is snug it. You, this, this thing's plastic. So, all right, see this little rubber part right here? Anything rubber like that, it don't matter what it is, put a little oil on it. Don't be afraid to try this. There is nothing to it. Put you a little bit of grease right here where it slides up in the motor. 